Welcome to Online Design with me, your host, Jeff Floyd. You know, coming up on the holidays, one of the things that I, I think is very important for us all to, to focus on is the simplicity of decorating our homes. It's my fa favorite time of year because, of course, in my house, we decorate from ceiling to floor. It, it, it's just that time of year that's a lot of fun, that you can put a lot of color, a lot of, of different things in your house. And I want to show you a couple of ideas today. You know, uh, so many times when we're doing those, those centerpiece decorations or we're entertaining or we're having a big family meal that's served family style around the table, it, so many times when that happens, you don't really have the room on your table to put a big centerpiece on your table. So a solution that I love doing at the holidays is then coming back and decorating above the table, on the chandelier above the table. And so I want to just show you, 10 minute idea here. You can have this done easy, easy, easy for you to do. I've started it, I'm just going to finish it for you today, but that's how simple this is. And I love that idea because then you've got still got this beautiful centerpiece look, but it's not on the table above the table. You know, I've just taken this Wonder Wonderland ribbon and I've started using it and I'm just starting by bringing it around and just tucking it in. Uh, on the, uh, the wreath garland. And you know, the base of this is that wonderful wreath garland. And what I do when I do these on chandeliers, I'll start it and I'll go inside, then I'll bring one of it, I'll bring the garland on the outside of this, then back on the inside of this. So, so that then you're just naturally, every again, every piece of this is a piece of wire, so you can just pull it together and tie it onto this so that it's not going anywhere. So then you're just gonna finish going around uh, with the ribbon. I'm just gonna cut off a piece here, right? So then just taking that and finishing with the ribbon there. Then I'm just taking these beautiful pine cone ornaments, these glittered pine cone ornaments that are in the line. Uh, I, I, they come in sets of three, and, I, and you can see what makes this so is the is the multiple uses of this pine cone. And again, how simple is it then to just bring these and use this use this piece right here that is a piece of wire. You're just going to put that on. Then what I do, I just double that over. So then it's not coming off and let it droop. And that is what's beautiful. Then you see the beautiful play of all the glitter and the ice that's, because every one of these pine cone boughs on this is covered with that icing, that glitter, and then this beautiful updated kind of sagey color green ribbon that's just the right thing for, a, for an updated look for holiday. We're going to take a few of these and we're going to lay them up into the garland itself. And again, we'll secure those with uh, the wire of the garland. But how beautiful is that? Just bringing those in and laying those up in. Now, what a gorgeous centerpiece you have that, but you haven't taken any of your table space. So then, then let me show you what I'm going to do on the tabletop when we have plenty of table space. So now we've seen that you can decorate above your table if, you're, if you don't have the space on your table. But truly, the, the traditional way of doing it is down the center of a table. And, I, and as you look at this, you can think of all the different places on a sofa table, on a dining room table, on, on a, a chest of drawers, where on the top of an armoire, in many different uses for this type of centerpiece arrangement. So I don't want just to get, it get caught up in just a dining room table. But again, I've just done a base of the two Winter Wonderland teardrops. And these naturally are shaped in a triangle shape. So you've got two of those so you you come to a point on both ends then I've just taken the brilliant amber uh, candle holders which are a super bonus buy right set of three of those for 1975 when you spend 55 so what a cre incredible value that is and again just made a real symmetrical shape out of these front back so you've got, and, and then you just play from there. So if this is in the back, your next size you're gonna put right in the front of the teardrop. And then the next size you're gonna come down and you're gonna bring that right to the, the, the back of the teardrop so that you have that play of depth that you have within the teardrop. And then we're just gonna take the Winter Wonderland ribbon. And again, I'm not worrying about where this uh, comes up and down. I'm just taking it and running it through and leaving it very loose so you get a lot of depth here uh, all the way through the design. Beautiful way to bring that in there. Don't know how much I'll need, so I'll just cut off a portion of it here at the bottom. And then just finish off your design by just taking this piece, just tucking it right into 
the foliage and then just take your end piece and just just kind of rough it up a little bit and then you, that that's added your ribbon to it beautiful just as it is but i want to show you a couple of other eyes if you remember we used these beautiful glittered ice glittered pine cones when we did the chandelier above me well i want to come back and do that exact same thing now and just add that element right into the, the, the design that's on the table. Can you imagine how beautiful this is if this is on a sofa table and then your chandelier over your dining room table is done? I'm gonna take six of those and I'm just gonna lay them right into the design. I think that it makes a beautiful, beautiful glistening. And, and what works makes these work is truly that ice crystal and that little bit of gold glitter that's on there and then that beautiful sage ribbon. I normally, when I use these in, in a design work, I'll cut off the hanger just because then it looks like it doesn't look like it's so much of an ornament. And then I think that's beautiful and I think that's a great color story. It's that very pretty um, gold and champagne and silver. And then I've got uh, iced gingerbread in these, in these candle holders. So I'm getting that ambiance of, of fragrance again that's iced gingerbread. But then if you have that client or that you like to add color then into your, there is no simpler thing to use than these uh, Majesty Poinsettia clips. They come in sets of three. You just come in, you just take, see they all have a clip on the back side of them. You just take that clip and you clip it right onto the greenery itself and it's done. How simple is that then just to come back in and add a little bit of color into your design. So, so you're gonna have, you're gonna have those places that you want to put a little bit of this beautiful burgundy color into your decor. And so this is the easiest way that I know to do it. Just take six of those, bring them in, just tuck them right into the design itself um, to just do this design complete as that. How beautiful is that then? Now you've added that depth of color of that beautiful, burgundies and and copper that's even in that burgundy poinsettia clip that majesty poinsettia clip so you've got not only do you have the beautiful ribbon that runs through and you've got the ice pine cones that add a little bit of that natural element to it right with that sagey color ribbon and that ice on the thing but then you've got these beautiful uh, organza and, and silk uh, poinsettias that are just adding a beautiful thing. I think this would make a gorgeous centerpiece for anyone's table and it is so versatile that it'll go in almost any decor. On the table, above the table, the important thing is that we decorate for the holidays and celebrating home makes that easy.